Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to update cores because people have been asking me. Now the first thing that I do when I update cores for RetroArch is I open a browser and up at the top here I type in build bot. The link will be in the description. Can't spell. Come on, keyboard. <sighs> go to buildbot.webbrowser.com and press enter. Alright, once you're there, go to nightly go to Windows, go to X64, go to Latest, and I'm just going to grab the top one just for the example. Alright, open a file explorer. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right click this, go to Extract. Alright, now when it's here, uh, minimize this, go over to your Xbox, Hold up, I need to switch over. Alright, over on the Xbox, you can see an IP address in the bottom right corner. If you're not here and you're on this menu, press this and it'll go right to where I was. If that if that controller is not here, press guide, go press A on home. See if it's on this, uh, it won't switch over. So what you want to do is you want to press guide and then home again then go to it all right once you're here you need that IP address in the bottom right so it's 192.168.2.8 now that that's not a public IP so don't be don't act like I'm leaking something cuz I'm not that's all that's a private IP that's a direct connection between your Xbox and the router so open actually hold up uh, minimize this, hold up. Alright, go back to a browser, open a new tab, 192, whoops, 192, 168, 168, 0.2, I know it's there, and then colon, uh, 11443, and press enter. If it doesn't work, uh, what I recommend you do is type uh, type in the address here and if it doesn't go there type in HTTPS colon slash slash enter because sometimes the browser uh, won't go to the IP or um, also when you go to this page it'll say it's not secure just click advanced and then go to proceed all right. Now, if you're familiar with this page, this is where you add homebrew. So go to File Explorer because that's what we're going to deal with today. Pulls out of this it bothers me. Go to Browse. Now, what you want to do is you want to highlight this. Right click, copy. Go to the Start menu. Type in CMD. Press Enter. Now, up here, right click and press enter. See now that that has been added, close out of this. And up here, highlight this, right click, copy, open the file manager, up at the top here, click it, then right click, paste, enter, go to Windows apps. Now go to the one that says X64. This is RetroArch right here, 1E4 x64 so double click go to cores now we downloaded this course so I'm going to delete this to show you all right go to downloads now right here this is the core we downloaded right click go to cut then I'm going to go back and I'm going to right click paste and there you go and that's part one of uh, this tutorial. Uh, that's just to update the cores on the website, just in case you know there's anything wrong or you want it updated or whatever. It's up to you. But in the second tutorial that I'm going to add, because you know they're similar, I'm going to go to downloads. Now I've downloaded Build 8 because I heard Dolphin uh, is broken on Build 9. So for an example, I'm going to uh, move over that. Now what you want to do is you want 7-zip installed. 
you can find that on Google if you don't have it and install that then come back to this tutorial right click the build go to 7-zip go to extract a retroarch all right once that's done open it up open this now right click the APPX bundle if uh, extensions don't show up here if you don't have an extension look over here and it'll say bundle so right click this go to 7-zip go to extract retroarch again all right made the folder and one more time right click the one that says x64 go to 7-zip then extract the retroarch again this is the one where all your cores are at so what you want to do is when it's done go to retroarch go to cores now I'm gonna grab dolphin right click this go to copy or cut and I'm gonna go back to where I was on my Xbox right click paste replace and there you go the core is updated and uh, you're good to go hopefully <laughs> unless you know for whatever reason the core stops working I don't know <laughs> but uh, that's how you update the cores uh, on BuildBot and from an old build or say you have a really old build and you just want a new core um, you could just do that a lot of these cores work on like every build that's ever been released so except the ones that don't support angle now of course like N64 and Flycast but Anyways, I digress. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys haven't, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Or whatever I make. See you guys later. Peace.